better run, man. Life's a pain, but you got me. Yeah, life's a pain, but I got you. Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about the official start of Venom 3 filming in production right now and filming in Spain. We saw a post from Tom Hardy the other day where he was saying he was taking off on a plane with Kelly Marcel, the writer and director of this movie, and they're heading to Spain. And then we saw a post a little bit later in the day from our friend Jake Tamori, who is the stunt double for Tom Hardy. And he was landing in Spain with the cast and you know crew and people getting off the plane behind him in the background. And uh, and so a solidifying, you know, that they are in Spain and they're, you know, they're gonna start filming the movie there. And then after that, we saw Tom go to a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu place with uh, Jake and they did some workout, some training, met some fans and everything, getting the blood pumping, I'm sure, getting ready for filming. And then the very next day, they started filming in Spain. And we saw some posts and I don't wanna show them off right now because I wanna give a warning these posts that I saw on here do give away something of the movie. It's not a major spoiler, but it does kind of give you a sense of where the movie is going to start. And some of you might think that that is a major spoiler. So if that's the case, I would say turn away now and probably stay off Twitter and some of the social medias because those things are going to start popping up for a while as they're filming this movie. So for like the next like month and a half or so, we're probably going to be seeing stuff like this. Anywhere they film in public, we're going to get videos like this. So just be cautious. And I will make videos on some of these. Probably not all of them, but some of them at least. But I'll give you a warning like I'm doing now for spoilers. So if this is our goodbye, thank you so much. Hope you liked the, the video. Hit like, you know, just know that the movie's filming. It's going, it's moving forward. They got it in there. You know, the writer strike didn't stop it. And the SAG after strike with all the actors, that's coming up. And they had to start filming this movie, I think, before then. So they can lock everybody in. So it seems like this movie is going. It's moving forward. Now, I don't know about reshoots or anything like that. So they're going to probably try to do everything in this you know batch of filming uh, the best they can just on the chance that they might not get a chance at reshoots and stuff or if they do hopefully it's you know after uh, you know the strikes are over it, or if the strikes don't happen like for the actor strike if that doesn't happen they can still squeeze in some reshoots later on but for now at least you know they got their schedule they're moving forward and that's all you need to know if you don't want spoilers but for those of you who don't mind a little bit of spoilers we're going to dive into this right now. Here's the post. And I'm going to put up the person who posted this on Twitter so you can see their name if you want to follow them because they might get other stuff. But that stuff, they said they didn't film some of it. It was something that was sent to them. But we got these posts of like different locations that they were filming and setting up shop and stuff. So it was people filming and taking shots of this area in Spain. Uh, but then also we got this footage here of Tom Hardy kind of walking through the streets and everything looks kind of like run down. And I think it's because when Tom went to the other world and, you know, at the end of Let There Be Carnage, we saw Tom wearing his, you know, cabana clothes or whatever, you know, he was on the beach, then he was in his hotel room and he got teleported away. And then we saw him in a bar in No Way Home on the MCU universe. And he was talking to a guy about the Hulk and Thanos and everything like that and learning about Spider-Man because the symbiote responded to Spider-Man on the TV set uh, when he woke up in the hotel room. So, uh, or the alternate hotel room. So that's what we got. And the clothes Tom was wearing, that's what he's wearing in this footage as he's walking through the streets. So this looks like it could be taking place right at the beginning of the movie. It could be the first scene we see in the movie of him returning to his world and being like, what's going on? He's hammered drunk because he was hammered in the other world. And now he's back in his world and he's stumbling around going, where am I? And how did I get back here? And, uh, and that could be the setup for the movie because the symbiote did, you know, it did leave a sliver of itself over on that other world, over on Tom Holland's world. And so maybe that's part of the quest of the, the you know, the story is they want to try to get back to that world and get that sliver because I'm thinking that sliver is Carnage. I think a sliver of Carnage came out, you know, with the, the Venom symbiote attached to it because they kind of, you know, Venom ate him and they kind of rebonded together. But I think that was the, the Carnage symbiote trying to get away because if you remember in the Spider-Man animated series from the 90s, there was a Spider-Verse storyline at the end of the show. That was the conclusion of the show, which is you had a Peter Parker that bonded to Carnage and became Spider-Carnage. And I would love to see that happen to Tom Holland. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, I'd love to see the black suit in the Tom Holland universe, but I don't. I want to see Spider-Carnage. We've seen the black suit before, and it looked good on Tobey Maguire. I mean, I don't know. I'm just being a fanboy here. But uh, but that's not obviously going to happen in this Venom 3 movie, I don't think. We got another story that they're telling, and we're still speculating on what that is, but I don't think it involves spider-man to that degree at least or carnage but i think that would be cool if that was the story of that slither piece that got away at the end of no way home if that was carnage slinking away that would be really cool i would prefer that over it just being a slither of uh, the venom symbiote so anyway let me know your thoughts down below and if you like this information here i will have more for you as stuff comes out you know obviously they're filming now so 
a lot of these videos will probably start popping up as they film in you know public locations so i'll cover some of them uh, and i'll try to put spoiler warnings so that way you know you hear my thoughts at the beginning of like the base idea of what we're talking about and then we get into spoilers for people who don't want spoilers so we'll do like a you know mullet type uh, eddie's mullet type review where you got you know business in the front and party in the back <laughs> or non-spoilers in the front and all spoilers in the back so yeah let me know your thoughts of this down below i'd love to hear your thoughts uh, regarding you know eddie walking through the streets wearing that same outfit stumbling around you know looking like he's drunk and back in his world where do you think the story is going to go from here and do you think that's what's happening in these videos i'd love to hear them down below we'll keep talking down there Thanks so much for watching the show as always, and if you like Venom content, obviously I cover that here on the show, and we will be getting into more Venom movie news as stuff comes out, as more casting news comes out, you know, anytime they announce music for the soundtrack, anything like that, we're going to cover Venom, so stay tuned to this channel so you don't miss out on any of it. Thanks so much, see you in the future, peace.